couple of my students went for the interview last week and these are the questions which are asked them into the interview of a data analyst role hi there my name is mozam ali and welcome to guide coachings today we are going to discuss about three interview related questions which are going to be very helpful if you are planning for the interview so without further ado let's jump on to the question so the first question for today is how to how can you color bar chart in different colors for above average line and below average line now we all know we can create you know uh, uh, bar charts into tableau and we can color them but what is the interviewer is asking we will be slowly you know decomposing it in and and you know uh, diagnosing it the second question which we will be taking for in this tutorial is how can we derive sales for first time uh, first and last day of every month in every year and the third question we will be taking is how to show default sales and custom sales okay now we'll be starting with the first question so now whenever a interviewer is asking you a question it's your responsibility to explain that question to him that gives him an understanding that okay you and i are on a same page i got the problem statement now i will be solving it so before starting or solving the question you should able to explain the question and you should able to explain him the terms and conditions and ifs and buts which are going to be used into that particular question so the first question which we are going to take today is how can you color bar chart in different colors for above average line and below average line so in here we will be creating uh, charts like something like this where we will be taking the categories the sub categories and we will be putting the sales over here and it will look like this but this is our cross tab chart i want it to have a bar chart so this is how my bar chart will look like now i'll go to analytics i'll go to custom reference and then i'll put it over here i will select the scope from entire and then i will select as a value and select as value and then i'll select the color okay i'll gray out it and i will put a light color over here but this is not what is expected this is not the question he wants my uh, all the above average in a different and below average in a different color so this bar this bar this bar all these three bars and the rest of the bars which are above average has to be in a different color and the uh, below average bars has to be in a different color so to solve that what approach we will be using so we know that average is nothing but the total uh, average the formula of average we know that if uh, you know we are going to calculate the salary of uh, or the average salary of a, of employee of an employee so if you want to calculate it for one employee you need to calculate with it for the all the employees that is sum of total uh, salaries divided by number of employees that how many employees work into that particular department or that particular organization on the basis of that we will divide it and we will get that okay department wise this is the average salary and organization wise this is the average salary okay for department we will be counting the department id that is how many employees are working into that particular department and if you are work if you are counting it the average salary for whole organization then we will be counting the all the employees the unique count of all the employees and then we'll divide it with that so again we will be doing the same uh, approach with over here i will create a cross tab i will duplicate it okay now here it is duplicated i will uh, remove this subcategory uh, uh, i'll remove the category and this i have only subcategory and my sales for that particular uh, subcategory so consider this as employees list and this as your salary okay now i will be creating a calculated field to get the total sales okay so total uh, sales how i'll get total total sales 
so to get the total sales what i will be using here i will be using the sum of sum of okay sum of sales and i'll close it now this is understand guys this is a very unique concept where we are using the fixed type of lod i have created an lod over here but i am i have not given it or i have not segregated it on the basis of any dimensions or any measures i have not written here fixed and then have given the name i am just writing it like this i can write it like this as well and this is also fine okay and if i put it over here i need to change it to discrete so this is my total <coughs> this is my total sales okay this is my total sales which is coming over here now if i uh, remove it from here if i change it to dimension okay it, it comes over here i will go and edit it now i want it to divide by what the count of the employees that is count of department or uh, sorry count of the subcategories so how i can get it I first I need to have the distinct count of all the departments all the subcategories all the employees so here we are using subcategory so I will be using a function called distinct count okay so distinct count I, I can do I will be writing uh, count count distinct count D okay and then I will be putting the subcategory over here understand the logic so if you understand it for the subcategory you will be able to apply it on anything employee student salary sales anything okay i'll close it this is again a fixed type of lod i can remove this as well and this will also works fine so i will what i will do now i'll call it as a average sales or something like avg uh, average sales uh, let's call it average sales I'll click OK okay this where it is gone uh, it might be over here okay so it is uh, where it is average sales I'll put it over here now if you see see here this is 86,322 is my average sales now I got the average sales as it is now I just want to validate okay this is my average sales this is my to uh, total sales for this subcategory so average if average sales is greater than sum of total sales then it is above average or below average I will decide so for deciding factor we again go and we'll create a calculated field so we will call it as a flag okay just just for the simple uh, you know understanding that if now if we have open uh, angular bracket and close curly bracket uh, angular bracket and then if this then one else if else condition else and then end okay this is how i will write this is my condition now i will put my condition what is my condition my condition is if average sales if average sales is or the sales sum of sales if sum of sales is greater than sum of average average sales then is equals to one else zero my calculation is valid i'll click ok and i'll put this flag over here now i will convert it to discrete obviously see this now what i will do i will just make this as a chart so that you will be able to understand it very easily okay this is how i wanted it i'll go to analytics i'll go to reference i'll put it uh, over here i will go to entire table i will use value i will use uh, now the same things i will click ok now if you see <clears throat> all the bars which have above average values are turned into orange and below bars are turned into uh, blue that is how we can do it okay 
uh, that's all for today guys i have the list of the questions which i will be covering into the next session now i before going you know because before signing off i want you to explain the logic one more times so or i have written all the steps what all things i have done so the first thing which i have done is i have taken the sub categories sub categories sales and i have created into uh, a bar chart i have created a bar chart of it then the second step into the second step what i did i went to analytics and then i went to custom and then i took took the reference line the reference line and then i have placed it over here then into the third what i did i converted it to cross tab to get the idea that okay this is my cross tab but i don't want this color to be background color i just want these bars to change their colors if they are above average so i have converted it to cross tab and then i have created lods of average sales that is average sales divided by count of count of sub categories then i have taken the those sub categories and those count and i have taken a flag i have created a flag where i have taken zero and one value you can use above and below okay above and below for your understanding and the sixth step is i have created again a bar chart here again i have converted this to my bar chart and then i have shown the value okay that is how i have done i have the next question which is ready for tomorrow we'll be discussing this question for tomorrow that's all guys for today thank you so much please subscribe us and hit the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever i post a new video thank you